Hey guys, this is Ryan from Extreme Tech, and I wanted to give you a look at Android 4.1.1 running on the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. Um, you're probably aware that there is an official update for the GSM Nexus, but Verizon, uh, being you know the way Verizon is, they're probably going to hold that update back for quite a while while they test it. Um, but in the meantime, because uh, the Galaxy Nexus is a pretty open phone, you can easily flash uh, a couple of uh, Android open source project ROMs uh, that are based on the brand new code that was just uploaded the other day. Um, so this is uh, the Vicious Jelly Bean 4.1.1 ROM. Um, and I wanted to just give you a quick look. This is uh, almost completely bone stock. So this will be pretty close to what you'll see on any stock Jelly Bean device or any stock ROM that you choose to flash at any point. Um, you can tell it's, it's very smooth. Um, scrolling through the app drawer, very good. The home screens, of course, are, are very smooth. That's the Project Butter uh, UI enhancements that Google uh, added in this version of Android. And it does make the phone feel noticeably faster. Um, they did something very cool with widgets. They finally treat them uh, like any other icon on the home screen. So if you want to move a widget around, you can just drag it, and other things will move out of the way, uh, the way they're supposed to. And uh, icons do that, too. They've always done that in folders. But um, yeah, you see things sort of uh, bounce around this pleasing sort of way, so you know what's uh, what's been displaced while you're moving things around. Um, you can also tell when you're using the phone that there's this really cool like zoom animation when you open apps uh, and when you when you close them, it, it sort of uh, zooms in from the spot where the icon uh, is. So it it maybe it sort of tricks your your brain into thinking that the app is doing something that it's ready when it it technically isn't. Um, but I know, it's, it's a pleasing effect nonetheless. Um, so there's Google Now built into this. Uh, that's Google's predictive search uh, interface. Uh, you can get to it by tapping up in the, uh, the Google search bar or at any, any place in the UI, you just drag up from these buttons at the bottom and you get Google Now. Um, I've only been using, using this for a few days and it's supposed to get better uh, as time goes on and it learns the sorts of things that you do so I've only I only get a few cards right now uh, but hopefully it'll do more later and when I'm out it shows me the directions home and traffic and all that stuff so that's you know that's handy and it'll show some local businesses too if it knows I uh, I've searched for a particular kind of food it'll it'll pull up restaurants that that serve that um, there's also a voice search built into now as part of that you can uh, access that with this microphone up here so let's do a quick search. When did John Wayne die? John Wayne died on June 11, 1979. Um, this is a very good UI. This is Google's knowledge graph. I don't know if you could hear the voice uh, when it read that, but it's very, it's very human-like. It, it's a lot better than what uh, Apple's doing with Siri or what Samsung is doing with S Voice. It's, uh, it's, it's a pleasant sort of voice. Um, and then I just wanted to show you one more thing in Jelly Bean that is pretty cool. Um, notifications have been enhanced quite a lot. So this is an email here that I just sent myself so I could show you. Um, they, the, a lot of the notifications pull up uh, this sort of expanded view, so you get more data. Um, but if you don't want that, you just use this two-finger swipe to close it, and then you can pull it back open. Um, developers can support this. A couple of the, uh, the first-party apps do it right now, but it is pretty cool. And you can still swipe stuff out of, uh, out of the way. So um, that is uh, just what uh, you can expect if uh, Jelly Bean ever does make it to your device. Uh, or if you want to flash it, uh, that is very possible for a great number of phones. So that's it, guys. Thanks.